What's going on, people? This is Shaw Harris, and today I am sitting down with my guy. A guy I've known for the past couple of years. He used to shoot at my church, but now he's out and doing some, some crazy things down in Miami. Got my man, Coy. How you doing, brother? Good, my boy. Good, man. Good. Appreciate so, you having me on, man. No problem. No problem. So for the people that don't know you, who are you and what do you do? All right. So I'm Nikoi. Everybody calls me Koi for short. Um, I'm a filmmaker by trade, but over the last few years, I've kind of just morphed into like this digital Swiss army knife. You know, I have clients manage websites, I help them plan content, I help them plan out their marketing strategies mm -hmm. or their, you know, advertising campaigns. Mm -hmm. It kind of is like, it's, everything is rolled into one big snowball now. And, yes. and I think at the crux of it, at the core of everything, it, it, I, I spearhead everything with high quality video content. That's mm -hmm. what I'm, that's what I'm good at. That's what I'm nice at. That's my, my specialty. Right, right. So I feel like, um, you know, over the past 12, 13 years, I've just been cutting my teeth, getting nice at, you know, producing very, I, I tell people I can make real life look good, you know, in one take. Yeah, I, yeah, I only yeah. need a couple takes to make something look good. Right. It's like, all right, boom. But like we were talking about off camera, it's about what you do with that content. You know, you can make a dope video, but, you know, is, is your website up to par? Mm -hmm. You know, is your offer good? You know, so I kind of help people look past the video, the, you know, the, the video. It's shoot. deeper than the video. It, yeah, it's deeper than the video. Yeah, shoot. yeah, 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 so. Okay, but, so yeah. you said something that I kind of want you to like reiterate. So what, in your opinion, what is the difference between a content creator or a digital, you know, Swiss Army knife and just a filmmaker? Because there's definitely a difference. Okay, yeah, so I can speak from both sides because I started out at just being a filmmaker. So I think a filmmaker is just one, a person that's going to pull up, shoot, edit it, you know, what you need and mm -hmm. call it a day. Right. But I think, you know, being that being that Swiss Army knife is like, all right, I, I'm, I'm automatically focused on your end goal. So it's going to cause me to produce the content a, a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, well, what's your goal to oh, get more sales? You need to get more leads or, oh, you got to get more people coming to your website. All right, mm -hmm. well, let's do this and let's shoot some of this or let's do that. You know, it, it's about, I think you're more result driven. Right, right. Just, you know, creating. Just, a, just creating a, a yeah, dope video. Dope video. Yeah, 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 yeah. More about what this, what is this video going to do for you versus Oh, I just made you look sweet. Right, right, you know, right, right, right. Because even nowadays, looking, people, everybody looks sweet online now. Yeah. Everybody got perfect teeth and a <laughs> and a and a G wagon, and a and a iced out Roly. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm saying, but it's like, all right, we, I think everybody is kind of like looking past that, especially with TikTok. Mm -hmm. You gotta be providing some type of value. Right. I think I seen a quote. It was like, people need to see you like twenty times or 20, 21 times or something like that before they make a decision. Don't I, quote me on that. Before they make a decision on whether they're gonna buy from you, or not. I can see that though. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You gotta stay in somebody's face. You gotta, gotta stay to. in his face. So I know you're known now for working with a lot of like uh, high end clients or uh, clients who have these large followings. For the creators out there, how did you go about getting those clients? Like, do you pitch? Do they come to you? Like, what's the? Um, it's a little bit of both. Um, once you kind of like get on that radar or that certain level. You know, people like people talk, and you know, people with bigger followings, everybody, yeah, everybody's looking on their their page has a lot of engagement and traffic. So, especially if they tagging you and they're you know giving you credit, you know, that's how the that's how certain leads come mm -hmm. through. But for certain cases, yeah, you do got to pitch. You do have to really you know hop on the phone with a person and maybe create a little deck kind of mm -hmm. so that so that way they know what it is that you're capable of because we talking about people spending thousands of dollars for you to come do what you do you know they want to make sure that when you pull up it's going to be right right and once again going back to co filmmaker versus content creator or, or digital swiss army knife like that this is really where you shine it's like all right cool well based off we looked at your page and let's create this this and this types of videos and mm -hmm. the one's going here one's going to the website and one is here you know if you're booking calls you know this is this is the the, the video ad to get more calls or mm -hmm. vsls for people yeah, with yeah. courses like really you can show my versatility you know all those discovery calls that's really where you can really shine and really let them know all right 
I'm more than just a person that can hold the camera. Right, right, I'm right, right. really interested in, in really providing results for your business. Right, right, you know, right. Do, do I run ads? No, I don't run ads. I, I'm not the person that's gonna do that. But even with the ads, av digital advertising, it starts with the creative. Yeah, It yeah. starts with the dope uh, the dope graphic. Because if, if you have trash creative, that ad ain't gonna go up. It's not gonna go up. And that's why a lot of everybody's leaning towards, all right, cool, test a lot of organic content on these or, you know, social media for free, mm -hmm. see what pops and then put bread on that. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Cause you already know people already gravitating towards that. Right. That's, it's, you just gotta like, you know. Okay. So for, for a personal brand out there, I know, you know, you and I both work more so in packages than instead of just one-off pieces of content. Um, so for a personal brand, what are the pieces of content that you feel like is necessary to kind of, you know, fill out that brand for social media or, you know, whatever the case may be? Well, well it's definitely started by saying every brand or business is different, right. but at the core, you know, you need to let people know what it is you do and what you offer and, and also just start providing value little nuggets on a little hack or how to save time or how to save energy or how to do something quicker or a mm -hmm. different way start providing value that way so that way when it is come time for you to pop out with an offer and make somebody pay for something mm -hmm. it's like well dang they've already provided so much free value for me let me let me see what they got going on yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like all right then we talk about monetizing your you know your audience or your right. community but yeah just start by providing as much value as you can without giving away your paid sauce yeah, yeah, yeah and working with us on our discovery calls that's what we do we, we we go through your products and services and we have different frameworks already built out to where we can i can create 30 video concepts for you right now you know it's hella websites and mm -hmm. you know different things out there now to where it's like all right I got all the topics. We just need to press record. Right. So like, what you scared for now? It's like, like there's too many. It's getting too easy. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. But even that, you know, everybody, it ain't, you know, creating and filming and shooting isn't for everybody. So true. You know, that's true. what they hit us up. But. Right. Because I feel like, because when I actually work with clients, I usually try to tell them like, all right, so you're gonna need some photos because you're probably your old photos are trash. You're gonna need some some lifestyle content because people more so care about your lifestyle but you also need some stuff that's showing people that you actually do what you say that you can do yeah um and then outside of that you need like a commercial you need ads you need you know joints where you're just giving out pure value for me like that's what like kind of like the formula for you know when you come up with packages so from your opinion I know you talked about a lot about you know videos going up what do you feel makes for a viral video or a video that you kind of, what are some of the, the nuances of what you feel like makes for a video to go up? Based on what I learned, it's a combination of a couple of things. It's a good hook, a good intro, like qualify who you talking to. Like if you a hot dog maker listen to them, teach you how to make 30 million hot dogs in 20 minutes. <laughs> Like, right. Hot dog makers might, oh, okay, they yeah, don't yeah, jump yeah. for that. Right, right, right. So, a good hook in the beginning and then being clear and concise on the message. Like, even as an editor, we cut out we cut out the fat or I cut out, you know, things that's reiterated twice. So, once again, good hook, good message, and then maybe some, you know, if you're trying to traffic your audience somewhere, a good call to action. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you like this, you know, click the link below or hit, hit the link in my bio to book a call. Or if you want to learn more, subscribe below or, you know, yeah, share yeah. this to one person, you know, just kind of like, you know, call a call to action at the end, tell them to do something at the end. So that way you're getting something out of it too, versus people just liking it and asking you, well, well where's the link? Mm -hmm. like, Cause people are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, one last bonus tip too. Uh -huh. I shoot TV shows too. So when you write in tv shows you'll be surprised to know that i think is they write tv shows for sixth or fifth grade reading levels so dumb it down a little bit too like everything ain't gotta be oh uh you know four or five six syllable words like, yeah, yeah. Nah, like when you writing this write it like you explaining to your little niece or your little nephew right, so right. Like they can understand it and i feel like it will, you know, reach, go, you know, the masses will be able to understand it a little bit better. True, true, yeah. true. What is something that you feel like content creators who are just trying to get into, not necessarily luxury space, but maybe the personal brand space or more so 
filmmakers who get into like more so content creation. What do you feel is a thing that they you see a lot of people mess up on? For me, why you, why you think you answer? For me is I feel like a lot of people don't package up content um, or they don't package up services and they don't charge the right way. Yeah, I would definitely speak to, you gotta and take a minute to really know your worth, but definitely, you know, just not knowing their worth and, and, and kind of like undercutting themselves when it comes to like their pricing. Um, and then clients be trying to get, everybody like, they be trying to do the most. Mm -hmm. They try to get more out of you than than what y'all than what you agreed on. I would definitely right. also say paperwork, contracts too. Like everything ain't got to be thirty page litigation. <laughs> uh, it ain't got to be that. Just yeah. general, like yo, you're paying me for this. I'm gonna give you this on this date. Boom, sign it. That goes a long way because then it's like they know not to try you because they signed it. Right, Even right, if they right, do right, try right. to try you, it's like all right, boom, well, bro, what's up? Like, yeah, 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 you know. So I would say pricing, paper work and then really making an emphasis on gear like you don't you don't need all the hottest gear to really attract the clients because at the mm -hmm. end of the day they don't know they don't know what they don't value our lights and our lenses and right. stuff they really value once again they value the results of what we do with the lights and the mm -hmm. lenses so you can have a red you can have an ari you can have whatever they got 30 million lights but that client still gonna go to a bro around the corner because he charging 300 yeah and, and his he, stuff look clean and, and yeah you know what i'm saying and shoot his stuff may not look as clean we all know what clients we, we all know clients is always trying to get a deal yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like yeah, even on that just you know stand for stand firm on your pricing every client not for you you know detach yourself from closing that client detach yourself you know from the feeling of i gotta close this i gotta get this new like nah like yeah i got another person right behind you on the phone matter of fact yo but they on the other line. They ready to come so <laughs> back. All right, bye. Like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You know, so those. That's just me. Okay, that's what I think.